everyone. So it's monthly favorites time and I am going to share with you some of the beauty products and some skincare items and also some random favorites that I have been really enjoying and using a lot this month. I haven't changed my skincare routine at all. I'm using the same products and the same uh, creams and the same sunscreen that I have been using and I talk about them a lot so I'm not going to be repeating that here again. So I'm just going to show some of the new things that I have been trying this month and which I have been really liking. Uh, some of them I'm wearing on me right now. So it's just a mix and match of uh, random bits and bobs and I hope you really enjoy it. The first two items that I'm going to be talking about are from the Stella Stay All Day Grain. This is their liquid lipstick uh, which is in the shade Best O uh, in the number 10 and this is a very beautiful red matte red lipstick which I'm um, wearing today and I also did a look using this too um, uh, like I think two videos ago I think so yeah so make sure you check that out to see this two in action but this two like together are amazing like I love wearing pink liner and a red lipstick and even though I don't wear like red lipstick that often I tend to find excuses to wear this um, lipstick because it is so pretty and uh, um, it is a very uh, rich and dark color. Um, I wouldn't say like this is wearable. Like I wouldn't wear this and go out every day. Uh, but it is a very like, beautiful shade if you have a special occasion or if you um, if you if you are different. If you like wearing red lipstick every day, I think this color is absolutely amazing and I think it really uh, brings out my features and it makes me look like it makes me feel very pretty whenever I'm wearing this and it lasts all day and it does not budge at all and the liner as well I've heard such good things about it and it is actually really really nice it's so black and pigmented and it, it's so easy to apply the felt tip is it's like to the point and the formula is really nice it does not sting your eyes it does not flake away and it stays right where you have applied it this is another lipstick uh, favorite this is the mix soft matte lip cream and this is in the shade San Polo and what a beautiful shade this is this is like the perfect like the perfect matte pink lipstick like if you have a Sephora next to you that you're very lucky and even if you don't have uh, one you can get mix at nika.com you could even get it at Flipkart and all so I highly recommend that you go check this shade out because it is beautiful and the lipstick itself has such a nice consistency it is very soft and it's very buttery and it um, it's very easy to apply and it stays on entire day it does not flake off like on weird regions i've seen that the color fades away slightly once you eat something but then you reapply and then the color is back to its normal glory the next item that i have is the lacme absolute baked blush and this is a rediscovery for me it has been hiding away in my stash for months and i've never actually you know, looked at it uh, like i thought i'd never wear it because it is a very um, scary shade if you just look at it because it is sort of dark and uh, I was a fan of very matte blushes and this one seemed very shimmery so I was actually afraid of wearing it but um, I wore this um, I think it was for uh, the tutorial I used the Stila liner liquid liner and lipstick and that's where I uh, used this blush and I fell in love with it again and now I realize that why I bought this. Never actually used a highlighter in my life before uh, but I think after this blush I think I'm very tempted to buy um, a highlighter like a separate highlighter just to highlight my face and yeah this is just a very pretty blush uh, which is baked I guess um, so it's a very nice formula. It's very silky and it's very pigmented and it actually lasts. The next thing that I have is a nail polish favorite and it's going to be very boring because it's a white nail polish. Um, this month I have been into nail art a lot and I have been doing a lot of nail art designs and, um, and 
most of the time I'm using this color as my base. It's a very nice opaque white color which is very difficult to find um, in a very like I think it is priced at rupees. 170 or 150 I'm not really sure you can wear this on its own and I think white or white nails look very sophisticated and chic um, I, I somehow really like the look of just plain white nail polish on your nails and you can even use this to do French manicure or you know uh, it's just very versatile so I've been liking this a lot moving on to skincare um, I have seaweed clarifying night treatment by the body shop and this is uh, for combination to very oily skin and I, I have been using this um, along with my La Roche Posay uh, before I go back uh, before I go to sleep and uh, I am really enjoying the experience of this I have never used a, like a night serum or a night treatment before and I think it has really helped me in reducing uh, the oiliness and the shine especially in my t-zone area and I don't know if you've noticed but uh, my skin feels very clean um, and less greasier day by day and um, I think this has something to do with it um, it is the texture is very light um, I was very skeptical before using this um, I didn't know it would work because um, it's just like water very different uh, to the things that I've used before and I think it's really working so I'm going to continue using this and finish this bottle up I have actually done a whole review on this on my blog so I request you to go check that out because I wrote a little bit more in detail about this the next thing that I have is from Soap and Glory and this is the thing that I have been using non-stop I tossed this inside my bag and I have been using this like every single day almost twice a day and this is their hand food and I think it is absolutely fabulous my palms are always perspiring and it, it's very greasy all the time so I don't really like the feeling of hand cream on my palms but this one uh, even though it is very nourishing it is not greasy like it is not greasy at all um, it makes my hand uh, like that stretchy feeling which you get like after washing your hands um, the stretchy feeling goes away and then you're just left with normal hands like uh, it's not greasy it's just soft normal hands so and it smells really nice so I have been really enjoying uh, using the soap and glory hand food and I got the baby sized one and this is the 50 ml one and it's just I think perfect for handbag and the tube is pretty sturdy unlike uh, those um, aluminium foil uh, tubes you get for hand creams this day you, like I don't know if you use the Crabtree and Evelyn one they are those um, aluminium foil ones and before uh, the body shop also used to make them in a very sturdy plastic tube but now even they have shifted to aluminium uh, foil tubes I don't know if they are aluminium foils but yeah they are those foily uh, sort of tubes which sometimes like you know um, because I have my sometimes I carry my laptop and sometimes I carry my iPad so they send to sit on my hand cream and then when I open it up half of the product goes outside because of the pressure created uh, but then uh, but this tube is very sturdy so I have been really enjoying carrying this in my handbag it's such a relief the last skincare item that I have is this one um, if you have been following my blog for a long time now you must have seen this a long 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 time ago and this is the Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Intense Moisture Body Butter and this stuff smells amazing. Wait, let me smell it now. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, so I just, um, I found this, this is a rediscovery. Uh, I found this sitting um, around in my stash and I thought I must finish this because I don't want it to uh, like, you know, uh, spoil and then I'll, I'll feel sad that I didn't finish it so I'm trying to use up every bit that's left and it's just a very nice and moisturizing body butter that smells really nice but it really lingers on you for a long time I wish I had the body mist to go along with this because I would love to smell like a sweet pea and I just love slathering this on my body after I have taken a good hot shower and uh, yeah this is one of my favorites this month have 
a weird favorite this month. It is my iPhone case. This I found this at Forever 21 and it's a gold foil case. It has actually discolored a little um, but I actually like the look after it has discolored because it looks like it was made like this and I don't know it just has a very cool look now. Uh, when it was new it was totally golden and it was like very shiny and blinky but now like it has discolored and I think it looks really nice. It's not on my phone now because um, I don't know I've used something. What am I using now? I'm just using a clear case now because I like to use this like if I'm going somewhere nice and I don't want this to get discolored even further so what I I think I'll put some clear nail polish on top of it so that it does not get discolored any further so those were all of my August favorites I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope this wasn't a boring one because I didn't have many products to talk about um, but these are the products that I have been genuinely loving and been using this a lot this month. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy watching this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh my god, I can't even believe that I'm holding this in my hand right now. Oh my god, I love it so much.